G'day YouTube, AJ from Lawn and Border here. Today we have a monster hedge cutting job to do. I'm gonna cut about a foot off the whole tea tree hedge. I'm gonna cut about two feet off here, all the way across. It's been not far the pool. And right across here, right up there, all the way around it's going to turn out awesome once this tea tree hedge is done it comes up a treat all right let's get straight into this um we're going to be using the husqvarna battery extender telescopic hedger um yeah let's let's jump straight in Short story, I was working here one time, blowing off this pathway, just finishing my, it was the middle of summer, about 30 degrees, blowing off under there, must have scared a tiger snake. The bloody thing came squealing around here, looking for a place to go, and it ended up going in this irrigation pipe, make sure there's none there. Got through this hole here, and that's where it was living, there's two of them. Scared me to death. All right, guys, so I've done about a third. Come across here. Probably not even a third come across there. It's coming together quite well. So I'm going to have to jump on the ladder now. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Dark clouds over there, I don't know. Hopefully not. Alright, so we'll get on the ladder, get up the top there. Reach as far as I can. I really want to try to define these two butt cheeks. The kids here call them butt cheeks. This hedge it looks like a big butt. So there and there, just really trying to define that. Hit the top here, go around the other side, and then hit the top. I just want to show you something. It's not a matter of just hedging this uh, tea tree. See this branch here? If I had to cut that down the bottom here, it would have just left a massive hole when it come when it comes to spring and it starts to grow. It would have left a huge hole there. So it's not just a matter of swinging the hedger onto this. It's a matter of um, yeah, being precise and thinking about the next growth activity of the uh, the the hedge itself. Um, obviously, we don't want to make holes in the hedge, but we also want to think about the way that it's growing um, and not just cut cut off any willy-nilly branches as we go, go along. A little bit of wisdom from AJ. Sorry about that guys.
All right, guys, so we've come pretty far. Looking pretty good. Got this to do up here. Let's go for a wonder, shall I? I'll show you. I hope this works. Let's go up the ladder. I normally get the ladder in between here, right there. Just smash it in there and I'll get up the top here. Oh, as you can see. All right, so we've got all that to cut along there and then all that to cut across there. I should be able to get it if I'm about there. And there's a little bit up top there. I'll use the camera so I can see where I need to cut. But apart from that, I think we're all good. That little bit over there. All right. There we go guys, all nice and trimmed. That's a monster of a hedge. If you like the video guys, give it a big thumbs up. Um, help the channel by subscribing and we'll see you on the next one.